Hello humans, how art thou today? Doing pretty dandy myself, uh, other than the little guest star here uh, by the name of Luna Chan. Come right on over, come on over, niche, niche. All right guys, so today's video is going to be a uh, video that I am quite fond of. Now, because Luna's right here and, uh, you know, obviously it's a little hard to jump in, I'm not going to be able to do a signature move that I always enjoy doing, but we're going to go from a distance and uh, it's going to be a... Is it worth it? Video. Now, not sure how that distance works, so I'm going to uh, just see how it works. So anyways, the is it worth it video we're going to have today is uh, a video that's going to be basically a type of video that I have been questing for. I have been questing for the... I am so distracted right now, guys. I am so sorry. Like, seriously, like, jumping all over the place, like... Not even like having any, any anything good here. All right, let me let me go at that again. Basically, it's gonna be an is it worth a video, as you know. Um, as always, I am on a quest to find the ultimate bacon making device. I have tried a couple of things already. Maybe gonna have a separate category for it eventually. But so um, the type of device I'm gonna work today is the Bacon Boss. Now I invest a little more than the other ones. So the other bacon makers were like five, 10 bucks here and there. This puppy's like $20. It's kind of the same thing as the rest of them, but we're gonna see if this one makes better bacon than the rest of them. And we already have our delicious bacon ready to go in my handy dandy bacon uh, carrier thing here. It was a fresh pack, but uh, Meow Yun dug into it today and now it's missing a bunch of slices. What do you know? All right. So anyways, we're going to pop this puppy in the microwave, we're going to test out the product, and we're going to see if this bacon tastes amazing as normal bacon. Now, I'm not going to make pan-fried bacon this time, because we already saw the difference between the microwave kind and this kind. But we're going to test the flavor and see if it's amazing, or if it tastes like every other bacon-making device, which, why would I pay $20 instead of $5 or $10 if I want quick bacon? So, let's give it a shot here. Um, Luna, you got anything to say? All right, guys, so onward to the bacon making process. All right, guys, not too shabby at all. I'm really impressed with this. It's a, it's a really hard, durable plastic, which is pretty awesome, actually. Um, it also comes with, looks like, a pretty extremely durable lid here that will be placed the bacon right on top, basically. And we, you know, we stick that right inside. Oh, I see. So we have a little collector there. So yeah, it's going to be pretty cool, actually. Once I get all this together, and we're going to, you know, put the bacon in, and we'll see how it works. So on with the show. All right. So bacon is on. Uh, doesn't hold a lot, which kind of puts it at a disadvantage from the other bacon's. Uh, I'm thinking. Let's see. Shows in the directions to go against the grain, if you will. So I'm kind of going against the grain. You see how it's going up and down. Now this is the intense part right here. So this actually seals shut. Like I'm amazed right now. Like you have to turn the knob and basically seal it shut. Now it's this like plugged up contraption device. It's like, ah, bacon shield, back demon. <clears throat> Sorry. So yes, let's microwave and see what happens. Oh dang, would you look at that? All right, so according to the instructions that it's one minute per slice, which is a lot, I know. But nonetheless, let's see how it is. Just gotta crank it open here. Sorry. Looks freaking amazing. I'm gonna, uh, whoo, whoo. I'm gonna degrease a little bit. Use that bacon grease something else. I'm gonna put it over here. I'm gonna come back once it's uh, not so freaking hot. We're gonna taste test it, and we're gonna find out the answer to our question. All right, so let's see what we have here. It looks pretty good, I gotta say. Mmm. Oh, hot damn. I do love bacon. <clears throat> hot diggity, that's good. Anyways, so um, we have to ask. Is it worth it? Oh my god, yes. So worth it. Wow. Mm, they're so freaking good. So, it's chewy, a little crunchy, the perfect cooking temperature. Now, you guys are all bacon connoisseurs. Now, you want your bacon to be limp, but not floppy, 
and you want that crunch factor and you can see right there mm 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 I was like, distracting you, making you look at the bacon while I chewed my food. Anyways, that, that is the perfect. Now, obviously, some people like them super crisp, and they're going to be like, you know, darts. Then, of course, you're going to, you know, go a little bit longer, like an extra minute, extra 30 seconds or whatever. But um, either way, so all of it actually collected really well in there. <laughs> Burnt my finger. Uh, so anyways, this video, I'm going to rate it on the Josh meter boop, 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 a 10. I, this couldn't be any more perfect. I think I'm going to keep it. I'm going to use it a lot. It's almost like a, uh, you know, iron skillet, like a, a real pan. But, it, I mean, it's not, it, it'll never be that way because, you know, you can't beat skillet taste. But, my God, man, I got to tell you. That is probably the best microwave bacon I've ever had in my life. Uh, bacon Boss... Well done, sir. You're going to get a uh, 10 out of 10 on that one. Anyway, so I don't know how I can improve my next bacon adventure. Uh, I'm always looking for other devices. And if there are other bacon stuff out there, let me know. I think in the future I'm going to do a bacon comparison taste test where I'm tasting all kinds of different bacons, turkey, uh, pig, beef, chicken, vegetarian, like a different kind than last time. I'm going to go through a bacon taste test probably next week or the week after. So it's going to be a lot of bacon stuff going on because I'm rewarding myself after eating that disgusting jelly belly thing. All right, guys. Um, anyways, in all seriousness, thank you all for liking, commenting, subscribing, uh, sharing these videos, commenting all kinds of different ideas and stuff. Like, I run out of ideas, and you're there for me, so I really appreciate that. Um, again, if you guys ever need anything, reach out. You know, obviously, you subscribe to me. I'll always subscribe to you back. I'm not like some of those other pompous people. They're like, I'm not going to sub to you unless I like your content. Well, I'm sorry. I know people like to grow, and they're trying to get their channel up there, so I will sub, and I will like your videos and do what I can to help you grow. Um, if I really like your stuff, I'll you know, put your notifications on. That's how I separate it. And if I really, really like your stuff i do like a five shout out friday every couple months and i'll throw your channel on there anyways thank you guys all for tuning in you have a great sunday and um yeah sorry i posted this late um i post i got everything done on you know like i was supposed to and then um it just is what it is you know all right guys see you next week meow